This is a quick movie just to show you how our Prime Enhance denoising algorithms operate inside Micromanager software. And Prime Enhance is uh, only available inside the Photometrics Prime SCMOS camera. So let's have a look at it. So before we get to that, let's look at the camera. We've got a really nice camera. Yeah, I think we kind of went on a lot of specifications. We have the SCMOS sensor with the QE and the read noise and the size. Really, that's kind of the same, but we also have these awesome features. The Prime Enhance, Prime Locate, Multi ROI, they're inside the camera computational ways of improving the jobs that you're doing inside the camera. Also, we've got other stuff. We've got kind of nice loads of mounting points. People like those nowadays. Good C-mount, easy connection. On the back, high-speed PCI Express, 100 frames a second, pretty nice. USB 3, 30 frames a second. There's only one camera. You don't have to make choices. You get everything in the box to make it work. USB just works on a laptop. No need for special cards, okay? If you want to go at 50 frames a second on USB, well, why don't you just plug the card in? You know, that doesn't need to go any faster. That's kind of good. Um, calling options. We're at minus 10 uh, on air calling. Actually, I think it's minus 15 now. I think we're going up on that spec. The selectable fan speeds are in here as well. So you can change the different fan speeds if there's any form of oscillation. We also actually have the lowest vibration we can measure on this camera in comparison to competitors. So really, really nice. The liquid calling, I think that's market leading as well, minus 25, you really want no vibration. Um, and again, we have some great shutters. We have an effective global shutter, and we also have the ability to send four exposures out. So if you want to do something like high-speed channel switching, right, then you can do it with this camera without having to do anything fancy like National Instruments boards or splitting signals or anything else. So let's look at Prime Enhance. What does it do? Well, what its job is to do is to take an image with high noise and reduce the noise inside it, improving your signal to noise. That's gonna give you a couple of things. It's gonna give you a better image if you want to by turning it on, or it's gonna allow you to have less light for the same image quality and therefore have less light on your cells, less photo bleaching, less phototoxicity. Your cells will live for longer. We can also maintain the intensity, so we're not doing any damage to our image by doing that as well. So let's look at it in a bit more detail. Why, why, why do we need to do this? Well. The first thing is read noise. We know cameras have read noise, the noise of reading the image. And this is pretty small, okay? One, one and a half electrons, depending on the different measurements that you use. We're, I think, uh, kind of leading the spec here at the moment. Same with dark current. Dark current, we're kind of leading the specs. Good calling. Typically, 0.06 electrons per pixel per second, less. You don't want any kind of more than that, really. Um, and on shot noise, shot noise becomes the interesting one because it's the square root of the signal. Even if you look at 25 electrons of signal, you've got five electrons of shot noise. Five is way bigger than one and a half or 0.06. It's the dominant noise source. At 100 electrons of signal, you've got 10 electrons of shot noise. Again, so this is where it's coming a problem. Shot noise is your problem. You need decent read noise, nice color, you know, nice kind of image quality across. You need the dark current. Make sure you're controlling hot pixels and everything else around the image so it's behaving nicely. And you get that with the Photometrics Prime, don't get me wrong, but we're also adding control for shot noise. So Prime Enhance is active shot noise reduction. This is what denoising does. It allows us to actually preserve the intensity so you don't have to worry about your numbers doing anything. It maintains finer features that you're found in biological samples. Don't worry about blurring or anything else. And it's come and it's a published algorithm from INRIA. And it's also been worked with by the Institute Curie to show how it would work inside biological samples. All right, so let's have a look at how this actually runs and works inside Micromanager. So now we're inside Micromanager. Let's just put some light on the sample. There we are, 50 milliseconds we've got. And you can see that noise bouncing around, right? It's a low signal. Um, if we put it up to 500 milliseconds, we now get an image that we're kind of happy with. And again, we don't want 500 milliseconds on the sample. Really, in a timeless experiment, that'll do a lot of damage. So, Let's just put a little line profile on and just have a look at what we're doing. Let me just draw that across that little region there and make sure you can see the graph. Now, let's turn on Prime Enhance and ping. Look at that line profile change. Look at the quality of the image change. And again, back to everyone else. This is what everyone else is gonna give you with the sensor. Again, we just, if you need to, we can do it. Let's put up to 250 and see. Okay, 250, well, it's not as good as 50 milliseconds with Prime Enhance yet. Okay, let's go up, let's try 350. Oh, it's kind of moving, the image quality is going up. But again, is it really getting there? 500 milliseconds. Okay, 500 milliseconds again, live. We've got more light, yeah, more signal, so we have to turn it down. It's getting there really with that. But for me, 
I'd like to go back and let's just try 50 milliseconds again. This is everyone else. And if you need to, and you make sense to, you turn on Prime Enhance. And now you can work with shorter exposure times, having less light hitting the sample in a time-lapse experiment or any type of experiment like that, and get a better quality image. Obviously, you can use it in other systems. Like spinning disk is really good because at that level, you're going to have some lot less light getting to the sample anyway. Your camera is going to be to be more sensitive, and this will work for really, really well for those types of jobs. Put less light on your samples. Let your samples live for longer. It's Prime Enhance inside Micromanager. Okay, thank you.